What up, YouTube? What's going on? It's your boy Triple N King with another video for um. I forgot who I named this guy is. I just, I just, I just saw that he's trending. Not really trending, more like, I just found him like a while ago. I was like, let me just watch this guy because it's cool. We had a video called "The Most Toxic Woman Ever" and it shows Gwen, Gwen, wait, Mary Jane, not Gwen. Oh, what am I saying? Mary Jane from Spider Man. Let's get into it. Boom, boom. Will you marry me? Mary Jane! I already expressed my love for Spider-Man in my previous video. But what I didn't tell y'all is there's one character from the Spider-Verse that I absolutely despise. Solely because of how much they put Peter Parker through. It's not any diabolical evildoers like Green Goblin, Carnage, or worst of all, the wall. But pop But Carnage was really going through and like Carnage one time took over his body to hurt one of his friends. I don't I've got there was a time when his friends the rhino, so he heard really he heard rhino. Possibly so. worse. Mary Jane Watson from the 2002 Spider Man movie. You're probably wondering why. Why? What did why? she do that like, could be so bad? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go through. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really remember that much of Spider-Man. So I don't remember the swing and the fighting. I don't remember the stories. So Every toxic and manipulative thing she did to Peter Parker. And not just him either, but all the men she was with. And by the end of this video, you'll finally understand why she's the most toxic woman ever. Treat me like what is. Don't get me dirty. Oh boy, yeah. First, I'm gonna start it off with the original Spider Man movie, Spider Man 1. You would expect this being the first movie for it to be a little more calm, but no. She's a bad person. So, first thing we see from her is that she stops the bus for Peter. You know, very nice act, you know, selfless act. And you realize she's dating the bully. And that pretty much negates any act of kindness she does for Peter or anybody else who gets bullied by him. And it's like, oh, maybe she doesn't know. No, no. She knows. He does it right in front of her and she doesn't care. You think a little flash, stop. It's gonna do anything then after Peter gets his powers we find out uh, she she doesn't have the best of, of dad So uh, ma makes total sense now <laughs> Bro, it's always the broken girls, huh? Well, she's dating the bully and, and, Yeah, it's kind of sort of like a coping, me a coping mechanism where Yeah, man, yeah, she was pretty messed up man. And Peter being the good guy that he is, you know, he just tries to chop it up with her to cheer her up a little. And it was working too. I mean, look at the face. You could tell she was falling in love. He was freezing her. I gotta go. And, and eventually she breaks up with Flash on graduation day of too, which is uh, yo, that's ruthless. That's like equivalent to telling your grandma she has cancer on her birthday. That's that's equivalent to telling your girlfriend. Yo, that's equivalent to breaking up with someone on Valentine's Day. Yo, that's equivalent of yo man. Yo, that's equivalent. Yo, yeah. <laughs> yo, breaking up at the graduation, though. that's not bad, bro. I lose my friends in graduation. But what the example he made, like telling your, your grandma has cancer on her birthday, that's like breaking up with your girl on Valentine's Day. Yo, Eesh. that's like, you know, let's say you're a person who gives gifts, and the only day you don't give gifts is on Christmas. Like, you give your girl your gift on her birthday, special days, but you don't give her a gift on Christmas. That's like, ish. Oh, that's tough, and that's like that. That's ruthless. Not gonna lie. Wow, but I can't that's lie. Not yeah. the worst thing she's even done yet. Cause then she gets with Peter's best friend Harry. But him getting with MJ was probably the worst decision he made. Cause she does not care about him at all. The so first thing she does is let Peter know that she's dating his best friend, and then she tells Peter we should go out for lunch sometime. Don't tell Harry. Mm, uh... Okay. Kinda really really <laughs> sus, but it's not cheap. I don't think people realize how messed up this kiss is. Okay, so one, she doesn't know the dude. So she doesn't know it's Peter. So as a viewer, you shouldn't feel happy for Peter. Yo. She thinks she's kissing some other dude. Two, she's cheating on Harry. And three, she doesn't know the dude again. That's, that's one nasty. Again. And this is all to say thank you because he saved her once? You're telling me the homeless dude I gave money to yesterday should be trying to make out with me just because I gave him a dollar? And the worst part about this is that right before this, she was still flirting with Peter. So it seemed like she was going to cheat regardless peter asked how her and harry were doing she said why so interested like bitch. and the most messed up part is there is not an ounce of remorse in her face we don't get to see her reflecting on her actions if anything she's open about how much she loves spider-man she was on the phone with harry talking about yeah he's just incredible like, oh, so, so incredible but anyways i gotta go to bed don't let the bed bug nah she will yo like Harry did not catch a break. Next thing that happens is that he walked in on Peter pretty much risen up his girl. And again, I gotta backtrack. Mary Jane came talking to Peter, who she knows for sure at this point. If she doesn't know, she's just, she's just, the who she knows for sure likes her. She came to him to- Every girl knows we like them, bro. 
Nah, they know. Talk about how much she loves Spider Man while still dating Harry. And look how happy she is to talk about this. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm glad Goblin kidnapped her because she deserved at least a little bit of bad karma for this. I don't even know how she survived yeah. this whole situation. Her forearm strength must be insane. Look at that catch. Look at it. Dang. And then by the end of the first movie, when her and Harry are broken up, she decides. Like, dude, like, yo, like. Yo, 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 your finger joints, my dude. Do fingers have joints? Your finger things, your finger, the things that hold your fingers together must be broken, fam. Yo, the best place for her to confess her feelings to Peter is at Harry's dad's funeral. Wow, standing ovation. We're off to an amazing start. <laughs> yo, bro, that's kind of dark, bro. Like, he, you, so you were dating Harry. So you were dating Harry. His dad died. Because of Spider Man, then uh, you get with Peter. Yeah, that's kind of messed up when I didn't think about it. Wow. My childhood is pretty messed up. Oh, boy. So, at the end of the first movie, after Mary Jane confessed her feelings to Peter, he pretty much told her, I gotta do my own thing since I'm, I'm Spider Man, but you don't know that, so I just gotta do my own thing. So, the first time we see her is at Peter's birthday party with her, Harry, and Peter, which is like probably so awkward. I don't uh, think I'd be able to. And Mary Jane starts this movie yeah. off hot. I cannot hold you. This is the most toxic she's ever been. So, first thing she does is go up to Peter and try forcing him to confess that he loves her. She was busting out all the stops the face touch, the eye contact, and she almost got him too she had my boy peter saying oh boy yeah mk ultra love was a manipulation but peter held it down and didn't say a word he didn't confess any feeling and i know this got her tight look at her face and right after she does one of the most petty things i've ever seen in cinema history she immediately walks away and says by the way i'm seeing somebody and just sits there and waits for my boy peter's reaction do you know how messed up that is like And this movie's for 13 year olds, right? So I'm like, wasn't I like, I don't know, wasn't like 10 when I first watched this stuff? Or I don't know, younger. That when, I, when I'm still getting, I, oh wow. I used to watch this movie like every year. So until I was like 15. Yo, bro, this is some high level manipulation right here. Yeah. Man, some of you girls, I'm pretty sure you took notes from that. I'm pretty sure us guys are like, let's get to boxing. Enough of this ch this shit chat. Let's get to swinging and boxing with villains. But I feel I feel like the girls they took notes from that scene from all the stuff. Cause this is some high level manipulation, my guy. Yo, yo. Nah, this is sinister. This this is some sinister stuff. This is like yo. This is like the ultimate villain stuff, bro. This is like. I you know, I rather deal with the villain than this. At least villains I understand them. I'm evil because I'm tired of the government and want to take over everything. That makes sense. I hate the government too, but I'm not in the mood to, you know, hurt people, you know, to get there, you know. So um, that makes more sense. I rather deal with the villain than deal with, yeah. But hey, we still love women though. They are. They're not all of them are trash like this, you know. They 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 they're not hard to find. They're not. It's just that sometimes you like. Mm. There are other options, I'm like, you know, I get, you know, but uh, you, you gotta, you get what you get, and you don't get upset. Let that happen to me. I might just, I might just. I woke up Chris Breeze. Dude. <sighs> it took me a while to get it. Come on, bro. Let, let Chris Breezy slide. It, it was years ago when that happened. And, and didn't we, you know, yeah, didn't we want to forgive Chris Brown for that? Oh my goodness, just... Uh... So in this movie, Mary Jane's an actress, so, you know, she has plays and stuff. And she really wanted Peter to go to hers. But, you know, Spider-Man stuff comes up, and hey. Peter wasn't able to make it. And MJ, well, she took this to the heart. Because next time she sees Peter, you know what happens? She agrees to get married to the dude, just to get back at Peter. You know how messed up this is? But, but, this is so, this is so toxic. This is so toxic. Hmm. So you told Peter to come to your theater show, right? As a friend, or you just said him to come, right? And you said you seen some before you did the theater thing. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm coming as a friend, I guess. Then since he didn't come, you're like, yeah, let me accept the marriage from this guy I just met, I guess. 
yeah. to Peter and to the guy she's with. He's just an innocent bystander who's getting in the way. Like she's just using the man. There's that scene where she tells him to lay a certain way so she could kiss him and pretend like she's kissing Spider-Man. Pretty much confirming that she's still thinking about Spider-Man and Peter while with this dude. Then later in the movie, she's telling Peter again, you love me. Just say it. You love me. And when Peter tells her no, she's like, kiss me. Go ahead. Kiss, kiss me. me. Mind you, she's still engaged to the dude. The ring is literally right there. They What's wrong with this shit? Again, father. I think I blame this on the father and her father. They show it in the shot. Then she gets kidnapped again. And after Peter comes to save her and he convinces Doc Ock that he's good again and all this stuff, the whole place starts collapsing on them. And Peter's holding it up by himself, the whole place. And she's under him. And she half, has the, the half the place, actually. That's what you say. You do love me. Get out the way! And at the end of the movie, after they do all this lovey dovey, confess love stuff, she does one of the most messed up things I've seen in my life. So at this point, we know the guy she's married to, Jameson. She she doesn't love him. We know. Oh, Jonah Jameson. Jo Jonah Jameson. Jonah Jameson? Is that. Mm, wait, wait, it's Jonah Jameson's son. Yeah. Well, that she's in love with Peter. So a normal person would call off the wedding and just. <laughs> Yeah, with Peter. Peter. But Mary Jane, since she's an actress and she wants to be in this fantasy world where she gets to be dramatic. Man, she's such a redhead. I hope they don't change her to a black person. Yeah, but if you've seen the new game, you see what they did to her, sir. Attic as hell and all, and all this stuff. She waits till the day of their wedding and then just runs away to Peter. Probably leaving the dude with years That's and years, and I'm bro. talking years of you emotional damage. damage. Like that man is DTB for life. He ain't trusting no one. And by the end of this movie, nobody. she confesses to Peter again. And she pretty much says they'll be together no matter what. Him being Spider-Man, him being Peter Parker, it doesn't matter. They're going to get through it all together. And if you watch the third movie, you know that's Cap. Yeah. <laughs> From a cinematic standpoint and from the Mary Jane standpoint, this is probably the worst one. Still my favorite though. So at the beginning yeah, of this dude. movie, Mary Jane's still an actress, but now she's like big, like Lizzo, fame-wise. And her and Peter are- <laughs> Fame-wise, yeah. <laughs> fame-wise, okay. Truly in love now, like nothing could go wrong. Peter was even ready to get engaged and everything. But then, you know, it's Mary Jane, so nothing could ever be normal in a relationship. She gets fired, which wasn't her fault, okay? That's normal. But normally, people who get fired don't start to envy their partner, because that's exactly what Mary Jane does. She starts to get mad at Peter for being Spider-Man, when in the last movie, she literally just accepted that he was Spider-Man, and there are things that come with being Spider-Man. So now she's jealous? But let me slow down. I'm not going to act like Mary Jane is all bad, because because Peter... Peter was tweaking in this movie. He really mm. kissed Gwen Stacy in a crowd full of people knowing his girlfriend is right there. Like he just said bye to her a second ago and he still kissed her in front of everyone. And I thought he would apologize. I honestly yeah. did. But he just said, oh, that's just a girl from class. And this was before the symbiote took over him. So this is all him. Wow. Ass. This man is the worst gaslighter on the planet. Mary Jane is still a L though. Cause when she was mad at Peter, she had the audacity to tell him that's our kiss. When she was doing the same thing in the last movie with her fiance. Like, Mary Jane eventually engaged. actually forgives Peter, not being petty at all. She comes to him saying she wants to be there for him and she knows he made a mistake and she forgives him. And like I said, Peter was tweaking in this movie. He literally hits her with a, okay, uh, I don't need your help. And since Peter was being so rude to Mary Jane, she thought that the only way to get back at him was to go back to her old ways. So she cheated. It's on him with Harry. I woke up Chris Relax, bro. Relax. Did they just just do it, dude? Wait a minute. Ish. Ish. In some dimensions, Peter got married to another kid, so that's uh, okay, I guess. Okay. I would say I didn't see this coming, but she cheats on someone in every single Spider-Man movie. She is literally three for three. Well, and now Peter comes to apologize to her. Uh, this is so toxic. Mm -hmm. He starts saying he loves That's what I just said like a minute ago, bro. This is so toxic. Loves her and she's like, no, we can't be together. No, no, no. There's someone else. There's always someone else. I fall in love with someone else. I woke up Chris. Chill out. But it turns out it was Harry who was behind it all. And he just wanted to demoralized Peter. And Harry was a demon in that movie. Right? He's just like, you know that state. I think he's gonna show the state. He did actually cheat though. That, that was real. So yeah. now to get back at MJ, oh, goes back and forth, never stops. Peter <laughs> takes Gwen Stacy to the- I don't care. Yo, bro. My, my freaking family is gonna get mad at me for this, but yo, yo, Gwen. 
Gwen, yo, if I had to go for a Caucasian, I'll go for Gwen, bro. Look at her, bro. That fine Caucasian jaw, bro. <laughs> yo, my African ancestors don't like me right now from the game. <laughs> Ooh, bro, yo, yo, Gwen. Oh, bro, she had it, fam. Yo, she had it. Damn, fam. Mm. <laughs> yo. Yo, how old is she back then? Damn, goddamn bar where mj works and just starts uh, just starts dancing with her definitely the most cringe sequence in the movie Gwen stacy honestly deserves so much better in every single movie if it's not her back getting broken or her best friend dying it's this and i know i made that chris breezy joke a second ago but peter peter actually slaps her I don't know if she deserved it, but Dude, this is so toxic, bro. Some people live in toxicity, you know? Stop. Eventually, again, Mary Jane gets kidnapped. And again, she saves herself. I'm telling you all that forearm strength. Dude. And both of her exes team up to stop the nah, she Mary dies, young. though. So I guess she chose the right one. So the movie ends with Peter and MJ, I guess, forgiving each other or something. I, I don't know. It's pretty vague. They just kind of hold hands and smile at each other. And I can presume they lived happily ever after. As y'all can yeah. see, though, the 2002 MJ is clearly the most toxic woman ever. But it's not just her. All Mary Janes are like this. There's a 1994 MJ. She was crazy. She literally jumped off a building so Peter could prove that he loved her. And then there was that one time she got sent to another dimension. And she she eventually came back, but it turned out that wasn't her. That was a water plant. Which oh, that's where the meme came from. Man. That was sad. I remember. I used to watch that old one where the symbiote when he got him, he was crazy, but he's gonna do it. Oh, that man was evil. Makes sense, cause the bitch wasn't crazy. The real MJ actually sure. got remarried in the other dimension to a dude named Paul and forgot about Peter Parker. Then there's the new MJ, Zendaya. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Ooh, I wasn't gonna mention at all, but as I was recording this video, the trailer for her new movie came out. And clearly, she's the worst one of all. That's a that's not even Spider-Man related. Come on, fam. That's a different movie. I really thought she was super, super innocent. But no, she was getting tag teamed in that trailer. Mary Jane being a thought has to be a canon event. My condolences go out to Tom Holland. As I said earlier, <laughs> we all give it up. But uh, he did get ease. If you know the clip where uh, yeah. earlier though, MJ is the most toxic woman in the universe. My fellas watching this try to avoid women like this. Cause even if you give them the world, Please. the second they go to another dimension, they'll leave you for a guy named Paul. And moral of the story yeah. just it's a, he didn't show that girl you see in spider-man 2 and 3 right there's this girl there's the landlord and the landlord's daughter you know the one you, you know who i'm talking about right the landlord's daughter the one who gave him cake the chocolate cake man man she was she was the type of girls i'm talking about was it this video? Yes, it was this video. Um, where I say, dude, there are treasures out there, bro. It, I know she, not, she doesn't look that great. Dude, she looks like a crackhead. She looks like, bro, come on. That's a bit racist, but it, she looks like one, right? But come on, bro. She looks like she will she go die for him. She looks like she a real one. But no. But no, let me go for Mary Jane. In other dimensions, in other worlds, yeah, she she's cool. She's pretty chill. But in this one, she was very toxic. Wait, man, wait, no, Ultimate Spider-Man, I forgot it, but uh, she was pretty chill. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, she was pretty supportive. Uh, and Spider-Man, plain Spider-Man, if you know it, you know it. She, yeah, she was, you know, the only soul, she was crazy, so. Um, yeah, they, and, oh, there's Marvel Spider-Man, there's different, there's, there's Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man, the new one. Mm, she doesn't really do much. She's just the smart, the smart one, the smart one. So I guess that works in the relationship. But we all know what is on top. The carcassity. The <laughs> oh man, I'm pissing off my family with this one. Man. It's been Triple M to King. Sorry, I forgot this guy's name. I try my best to remember it. Link this. Link the description to the original video if you want to watch it well me. And yeah, link the description. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to the original video if you like it too. Babe.